Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Azure Active Directory seamless single sign-on. Azure Active Directory seamless single sign-on automatically signs in users when they are on their corporate desktops that are connected to corporate network. When it is enabled, users don't need to type in their passwords to sign into Azure Active Directory and usually even type in their usernames. This feature provides your users easy access to your cloud-based applications without needing any additional on-premises components. Before watching this video, check out the video on how to install and configure Azure AD Connect tool on Windows Server 2022. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check out that video first. Link is given in the description area. This is our domain controller named ws2k22-dc01 for msapsurat.local domain. On this domain controller, we have installed and configured Azure AD Connect tool. To perform the steps, you must have access to both an on-premises administrator and an Azure AD Global Administrator. First, let's check seamless single sign-on option status in Azure Active Directory. Sign in to the Azure portal using an account with Global Administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com Under Manage, click on Azure AD Connect. Under User Sign-in, check the status of Seamless Single Sign-on. We can confirm it is currently disabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. So let's see how we can enable it. Let's go to our Domain Controller VM. In the first step, we will enable single sign-on in Azure Active Directory Connect tool. Click on Start button. Click on Azure Ready Connect. And again, click on Azure Ready Connect to open the tool. Click on Configure. Click on Change User Sign-in Options. After selecting Change User Sign-in, click on Next. Fill in your Azure AD Global Administrator or Hybrid Identity Administrator's credential. In my case, Global Administrator's username is already there. I just need to type his password. Okay? Click Next. It is connecting to Microsoft Online to verify the user credential and permissions. On User Sign-in, as you can see, we are using Password Has Synchronization option. Now, we want to enable single sign-on. So, let's select the checkbox in front of Enable Single Sign-on. If you want to know more about single sign-on, then you just need to take your pointer over this symbol. This option enables users on the corporate network to get a single sign-on experience when accessing cloud services from their domain joint desktop machines. Let me select the checkbox and hit Next. Okay, to enable single sign-on, we need to enter a domain administrator's account's credential. To enter it, let's click on Enter Credentials. Enter your domain administrator account credentials. Uh, in my case, it is MSF Surat slash administrator. And let's type his password. Click OK. There should be a green box uh, indicating uh, your username and password are correct. Now, let's click Next. Okay, it is checking for installed components. Uh, everything is good to go. Make sure the checkbox is selected in front of Start the synchronization process when configuration completes. Click on Configure. We need to wait for a few seconds to complete the configuration process. Okay, as you can see, it is currently enabling single sign-on. Configuration completes. Uh, let's click on Exit. Now, at this moment, seamless single sign-on user sign-in option is successfully enabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. In the second step, 
we want to verify it. So for that, go back to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center web interface. Uh, select Azure Active Directory in the left pane. Under Manage, click on Azure AD Connect. And here we can see seamless single sign on. It is disabled. So let me click on refresh. Uh, it is still disabled. So I'm going to refresh the entire web page and let's see what happens. And now we can see it is enabled. So we can confirm that seamless single sign on is enabled in our Azure Active Directory for one domain. Let's click on seamless single sign on. We can confirm that it is enabled for our on-premises domain name msfsurat.local. Uh, we can see the key creation date and status information here. Seamless single sign-on creates a computer account named Azure AD SSO ACC in our on-premises Active Directory in each Active Directory forest. The Azure AD SSO ACC computer account needs to be strongly protected from security reasons. Only domain admins should be able to manage that computer account. To see that, let's jump back to our domain controller virtual machine. Open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. Go to the default computer's container. Verify that the computer account Azure AD SSO SSC appears in our local Active Directory. Now we have successfully enabled seamless single sign on in our Azure Active Directory. But to apply single sign on to groups of users or computers, some group policy work is required. Create a new group policy object that is targeted against either computers or users based on your preferences. So in the third step, we will create and configure group policy settings. Let's open group policy management console by clicking on tools and then clicking on group policy management. Uh, let me expand group policy objects. Let's right click on group policy objects and select new. Type a meaningful name for the GPO. I'm giving name seamless single sign on GPO. Click OK. Let's right click on seamless single sign on GPO, which we have created right now and select edit. Let me maximize it. First, we are going to modify users intranet zone settings. By default, the browser automatically calculates the correct zone, either internet or intranet from a specific URL. Browsers will not send Kerberos tickets to a cloud endpoint like the Azure AD URL unless you explicitly add the URL to the browser's internet zone. So we are going to define that policy. Under user configuration, expand policies, expand administrative templates, expand windows components, and then you need to click on Internet Explorer. Okay, here. Under Internet Explorer, Click on Internet Control Panel and expand it and then click on Security Page. Now you need to double click on Policy Setting named Site to Zone Assignment List. Let's double click on it. Click on Enable to enable this policy setting. Then we need to click on Show and here under Value Name enter the Azure AD URL https colon double slash auto logon dot microsoft azure ad hyphen sso dot com make sure you have entered the correct url https colon double slash auto logon dot microsoft azure ad hyphen sso dot com then value will be one to specify this is the intranet zone so let's type one and click on OK. Perfect. Now I'm going to click on Apply and OK. So we have successfully configured one policy setting named Site to Zone Assignment List. Now click on Intranet Zone. You need to click on Intranet Zone under Security Page. 
Then we need to double click on the policy settings, name allow updates to status bar via script. So let me click on settings here to arrange this policy settings in alphabetical order. Then let's find the policy settings which we are looking for. This is the one. Allow updates to status bar via script. Let's double click on it. Select the radio button, enable to enable this policy. Uh, make sure under status bar updates via script, it is enabled. Fine. Click on apply. Click OK. So we have successfully configured required group policy settings. Now I'm going to close the group policy management editor window. Let's link the GPU to our OU named cloud objects. So let's right click on cloud objects OU and select link an existing GPU. Select the GPU, seamless single sign on GPU. Click OK to assign that GPU to our OU cloud objects. So the GPU has been successfully linked with our OU cloud objects. In the last step, we'll be testing seamless single sign on feature on our Windows 10 client computer. We will use the user account of our user test user one, uh, which is stored under the OU cloud objects. Let's sign in to our Windows 10 client computer. Already we have signed into this computer using this test user one's credential. Uh, this Windows 10 computer is part of our Active Directory domain msfsura.local. Let's manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash force. Let's press enter key. I think some policy issues are there with the MDM uh, which we have configured in the last video. Uh, let me exit from this and uh, let's restart uh, this Windows 10 computer once. Okay, after restart, let's again uh, sign to this Windows 10 computer using the credential of our user test user 1. Okay, uh, we have successfully signed in to this Windows 10 computer. Now let's start the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now we are going to test seamless single sign on feature on this Windows 10 computer, which we have access using the credential of our test user 1. So let's enter URL as HTTPS colon double slash myapps.microsoft.com and press enter key. Uh, you can see you should not be required to enter a username or password. It will automatically sign you in to this My Apps website. Uh, let me click here on TU and you can see we are using the user account of TSUS1 and this is users UPN. User1 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. So we can confirm that taste user one has been successfully logged in to my apps page without entering the username and password. That means Azure Active Directory seamless single sign-on feature is working perfectly fine for us in our test environment. So that concludes the video on how to enable and configure Azure Active Directory seamless single sign-on with Azure Active Directory Connect tool. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.